What's up, Team Upcast, Jonathan Buckhouse here, and in today's video, I'm gonna give you guys five activities, five things to do in the summertime that are gonna make you a better snowboarder in the winter. Now, before we jump in this video, make sure you guys snack some Evolution merch, you know, support the dream, and let's get right into it. So, obviously, the first thing you can do in the summertime that's gonna make you a better snowboarder is skateboarding. It's the most simple activity to do that will improve your snowboarding tremendously. And I'm not saying, like, go do a kickflip or go, like, ride a half pipe. Yes, those things will improve your snowboarding, but I mean, like, get a longboard, get an electric skateboard, just get on wheels, get moving, and really start, like, cruising. And what skateboarding really does is it helps you get a flow, a style, like it's really hard to explain, but I really think the best people that get to like a stylish snowboarding level start with skateboarding or it comes from their skateboarding. It really translates a lot because with skateboarding, it really forces you to do upper and lower body separation, which is where a lot of the style starts to come from when your snowboard is moving a different direction than your upper body is. So get on a skateboard, kick around. It's one of the cheapest ways to improve your snowboarding in the summertime as well. Another activity that I love so much and is like my new favorite summertime activity to improve my snowboarding is wakeboarding. I truly believe these two sports are basically the same. And I'm not talking about behind a boat. I'm talking about wakeboarding at a cable park. We specifically go to Imondi in Fruta, Colorado. And the park is insane. It's a cable that just pulls you around. And when you're holding onto the handle, that's like the only thing that's different to me, at least when it comes to the two sports. You can still do board slides and, and front boards and jumps. And it's really rad. And the biggest difference, once again, is just that you're holding onto a handle. But all the body positions, all the slides, all of that feels so much like snowboarding. So I love wakeboarding so much. And then you're also, you're on the water, summertime water, like they go together and it's a great time. So go try wakeboarding. I promise if you put hours and time into that, it will translate once again to your snowboarding. Okay. So the third thing you can do in the summertime to improve your snowboarding is go snowboard. And you're like, what? Now look, a lot of you guys don't have an incredibly long ski season. Specifically, if you live in the Midwest or the East coast, you know, your season can end pretty quick. And so then you're like, bam, my season is over. But there are places in the United States that you can snowboard to till late August or year round. I'm specifically talking about big snow in New Jersey, which is an indoor snow dome, which is uh, you can go year round anytime you wanna go, as well as Timberline Ski Resort in Mount Hood in Oregon. It's an incredible volcano that holds snow year round. It's a magical place. And we also host a summer snowboard camp there in June. So that's another way to get back on snow in the summertime. I cannot express how much getting onto snow at least one month in the middle of your break will help you improve your riding so much. Help keep that muscle memory, that's that little energy in your head about snowboarding, that's gonna translate to the next winter when you get back on. And then also, if you come to like our snowboard camp in June that just ended, you know, we're teaching you how to improve and get better. We're doing five days of riding, it's really sick. Now, if you're sad that you missed that camp, don't worry, because this once again, all the sports that will help you get better at snowboarding in the summer, which we're talking about right now, we're doing our bro camp or crew camp, because you don't have to be a dude to be a bro, so our crew camp, so chicks are invited. All-inclusive adult camp for wakeboarding, surfing, and skateboarding. It's intro to these sports, so we're gonna go surfing for the first time, or if you can surf, you can still come and we can get you on harder waves. But all this is going down August 6th through the 12th in Waco, Texas at Waco Surf. They have the insane wave pool to learn how to surf, as well as they have an insane cable park there, and then we're gonna be go going skateboarding at the skate park in Waco, which is super fun. The idea is let's go do these activities that are gonna make us better snowboarders, but with like-minded individuals, that way we're not learning how to wakeboard for the first time by ourselves or we're not trying to go surfing for the first time by ourselves. And so all of that information for that camp is linked down below. Come wakeboard, surf, and skate with me. And of course, we're going to talk about snowboarding and all that type of stuff. It's an all-inclusive adult camp, one of the best vacations you can get. Now, the fourth thing you can do in the summertime to improve your snowboarding is this new contraption I found called the Summerboard. Essentially, it's a electric skateboard with these two middle wheels that let you pivot and turn literally like a snowboard. But the best part is it has bindings as well, so you can do gaps and jumps and all this type of stuff that you would do on your snowboard on a skateboard. It's really cool, it's really unique, and I'm still new to it, but I love it, it's so fun. Definitely all my snowboard tricks and my body positions are all translating to that sport, which means that everything I do on that sport is gonna translate back to my snowboarding. So check out the summer board. It's really sick too, if you don't even wanna be pushing it in the park aspect of it. 
going on trails and runs, it's, it literally feels like you just cruise in a groomer and it's rats. So check out the summer board. That is the fourth thing that will improve your snowboarding in the summertime. Now, before I give you the last thing that's gonna improve your snowboarding in the summertime, I do wanna mention today's video sponsor, Hemp Lucid, a CBD company. I really do enjoy taking CBD for my recovery. You know, when the body's sore, I'm not feeling good. Instead of pounding a bunch of ibuprofen and stuff like that, CBD helps with that pain relief as well. It just makes me feel good on the mountain. I also have Focus gummies, which are really insane if I wanna sit down and edit. I really enjoy Hemp Lucid and all of their stuff. So use the link in the description, save yourself some money for that recovery, like the creams and stuff. Like, ah, oh, they're so nice. Now the fifth thing that is gonna make you a better snowboarder in the summertime and gonna be the best for you is hitting the gym, getting in shape, however you wanna do it. Like last year, I rode a bike. I was going like 20 miles a day on a bike and that really made my legs strong, kept me in shape. And then when this upcoming season happened, I felt an incredible growth because my legs were so much stronger. So doing squats, you know, getting in, just getting in better shape, focusing on like, you know, snowboarding is a sport. So if you're like, yo, I wanna have a big year next year on my snowboard, well, guess what? Do some off-season training, eat better, work out, all that type of stuff. I know it's like, man, man, I just wanna do this as a hobby that's fine too but if you really want to improve you really want to get better getting stronger being in better shape is going to help you you know land that big jump or be able to take side hits even like a foot taller if you can drop in a couple extra pounds you can jump a little bit higher i heard like one pound you lose is like five pounds off your knees which is like huge so if you're getting knee pain that could be a way to like eliminate that as well so those are my five tips for you guys this summer to get better at snowboarding all of like the summer board and my camps and all the other the things I talked about guys are linked in the description as well as all my snowboard gear and the sponsor of today's video. So check out the description and as always team with us, thank you so much for sharing with us today. And as always, thanks for watching. Keep evolving. We'll see you guys tomorrow in another video. It's daily on this snowboard channel. We do stuff like this daily. daily.